I was weak. I set my alarm this morning to go off at 3.57 a.m. Because anybody can wake up at 4 a.m., right? But 3.57. Uh, alarm went off, and I laid in the bed for about 20 minutes just complaining. Why do I have to get up? I got to do these contracts, catch up on work, blah, blah, blah. I had to check myself. Like, you're laying here in your nice, cushy, memory foam bed. You have electricity, place to stay, running water, and... I'm complaining. There are so many people out there that have it way worse than I do that are successful and they're getting after it. So check yourself this morning. It's still early. Let's attack the day. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna have you do something today that I do with my coaching clients called practicing the patience and consistency of entrepreneurship. So, it consists of three things. Number one, you're gonna to go to your bank and get a $100 bill and put that somewhere safe. Number two and three, every single morning you're going to make your bed. You're going to do 20 exercises, whether or not it's a jumping jack, a push-up, a sit-up. I don't care what it is. What are we doing? For the next 30 days, you will, you're going to do those two things, making your bed and doing exercises. If you miss one day, that $100 bill, you're gonna give it to some random stranger. If you do this consistently every single day, you're gonna take that $100 and you're gonna buy something nice for you or your family, preferably you, okay? What are we doing? We are practicing consistency. As entrepreneurs, we know we have to be consistent no matter if the payday is coming or not. If you don't practice this now, you've already bought into the mindset of working on the first and getting paid on the 15th. So we need to break that cycle so you can be king. Consistency is king, let's go. What's up, everybody, man? We're out here in the uh, Winston-Salem at the auction. <clears throat> out here, uh, this is where a lot of people are coming, especially if you're fixing and flipping, buying things that are um, uh, something like this here, where you buy them in advance, stockpile them. It's a full 10 by 10 kitchen set, counter set right there. Buy something like that and then you, you stockpile it put it in the warehouse so when you need it later uh, you're not coming out of pocket at retail costs so we're gonna um, go in here we're gonna take a look at this auction and hopefully uh, hopefully find something good there that top there so. <laughs> side <clears throat> take a look at it and uh, um, his uh, broker right 
right there. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at it and see what what we can put on the MLS for after it gets fixed up. So I'm walk you guys through this and uh, show you something that uh, people are doing in other states. This guy, right, Max Max Wealth, if you haven't heard of him, definitely doing a lot of volume, a lot of volume out here in Winston-Salem. So um, him and his whole team, they're out here grinding. And it's always good to show, to, to get with people who are, who are at the, another level than you are, because you can always learn. Never want to be the uh, smartest person in the room. Always surround yourself with people who have different skill sets that are smarter than you, doing things at a different level, so that way you can grow, right? I'm gonna walk you through this house right now. Nothing? Francis, we can't get in there? We gotta mess with him. It's taking so long, Francis. Oh my gosh, rookie mistakes. See the little trails. You see the little. It looks like a uh, little termite, huh? Or something. Well, if it's termite, you're gonna see, you're gonna see them. Or are you gonna see the, the little? They, they leave like little trails through the wood. Uh huh. This might be water. I think it's water. Yeah. You think they're there? They're there? No, I don't know. I was saying. Oh, oh yeah. Yep. Is this over here? Yeah. Nah. They got like uh, ATP? Yeah, it's more. I think probably more like that. Oh, that might be termite. Yeah. It's not going wrong. Or do you go like this and then press it? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Great colors. <laughs> Hey, don't, don't pay back. <laughs> it's going one, two. <laughs> His and mine. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm just getting organized in my thoughts. Oh, okay. man. You ever go to, like, your grandparents' house? Um, where uh, certain rooms you couldn't go in? That's what this house smelled like. Can't touch some certain parts of the furniture. Oh, this is the room. We can't go in this room. Nope. Right here. You see that line right there? That's the kids do not come in this room line. So now we're off getting ready to go see another property. Um, I love doing stuff like this because I always learn. We have people like this, Max and Francis going over, um, talking about different strategies and what they want to do in order to bring the highest dollar amount um, um, to this property and how they're going to configure things. So hearing these and being a part of these conversations allows me to think on a different level, also allows me to help um, some of you that are asking me questions. So you're getting information that I'm getting from them. All for free. Huh? Looks pretty good, huh? Is this your window guy right here? No. So we're at another property of my man Max's. Um, this one's in progress, as you can see. We've got people out there working already. Walk through this one real quick as well. And uh, trying to see what works. What What do you put into your house that makes that makes it pop, makes it sell. So it's only in the market for the, the minimal amount of days necessary. It's constantly learning, constantly learning, constantly trying to tweak whatever, whatever you do in your business to make it work more efficiently, more effectively, just to make everything flow. 
So it uh, looks like they already painted the bricks. I love the white painted brick. I don't know if you guys like it. If you do, leave a comment below. But I love the white painted brick. It makes it, uh, makes it stand out. But, all right, let's go inside. There he is. I'm man Francis. Look at him. I like the white printed brick, man. Oh yeah, beautiful. I like it. Oh yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be nice. Oh, the, the recessed lighting, the pot lighting. Property's gonna be really nice when it's done. I know the sun is killing me right now. But um But yeah man, this is gonna be a really, really nice property. This property, this house is huge. Look at this dude. Look at this guy back here. Looking like he knows what he's talking about. He knows a little something. Messing up my shoes. Mailbox available at the moment. Please leave a message and I'll return your call as soon as possible. Thank you for calling. Have a great day. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey Kevin, my name is Max. I'm calling here from Winston Salem. Uh, I've got a quick question for you. I know this call is kind of out of the blue, but um, I bought flipping that property and I noticed across the street from coming to this property quite a bit that there's no activity on your property at um, I just want to inquire to see if you're interested in selling it if you are I'm right across the street flipping the other property and would love to probably take a look at this one is if you're interested in selling um, give me a call when you get a chance my number once again my name is Max and my number is Talk to you soon, thanks.